Antarctica isn't exactly awash in biodiversity, but there are plenty of plants and animals that call this coldest of continents home. Chilean scientists are studying some of these plants to see how they react to the relentless summertime of damaging ultraviolet rays. And we have found that both species are tolerant of ultraviolet radiation. Zuniga is studying these plants to find out how they shrug off the barrage of UV rays that causes skin cancer in humans. The hope is that the same compounds protecting the plants can also protect humans. Specifically, in the case of columbanthus, we identified a group of molecules that act as solar filters. And that is very interesting because, of course, one understands that given the environment in which the plant develops, in the spring-summer, the radiation levels are very high. The plant has strategies to avoid the damage that this radiation generates. Since the industrial age, loss of the ozone layer has increased the amount of UV reaching the Earth by 30 percent, according to NASA, though that level has stabilized in recent years. Zuniga's research could also have implications for plants as a way to protect them and increase crop yields. This allows us also to understand how the plants respond to the ultraviolet radiation, thinking that this information could be used in the not-too-distant future and be incorporated into plants of agronomic interest that are susceptible to ultraviolet radiation. Zuniga and the university are currently looking for partners that will help them develop products based on their research. Kevin Enix, VOA News.